Hello, in this video we will explain how the personalized delete capture pages work. We we'll go to my tools, tools to take any business to the next level, and we click on personalized landing pages. We have two personalized landing pages. The, the URLs will be our username, this account, this account has a new username DTR, so it will be our username dot website about me or username dot my special website dot com. If we click on them, this is a typical landing page. It has two photos that we choose, some text. You should not be able to understand this, it's in Greek. And you can also insert a video from YouTube. And all the landing pages they, are, they have a form in which people are asked to insert their details if they are interested in learning more, more about what the two-minute video explains. So, the way to edit this and make them personal are we go here and we click on edit. The first thing we can do is choose a design. You can experiment with this. Then you can choose, select your style, it's actually select your color. So if you click on orange, this page will become orange. <laughs> if you click on green, it will become green and so on. You can choose the color that you want. And here you have some videos. Styfor provides us with four different videos. The best thing, since they are personalized, is to use, to use your own video. So you will upload your own video at YouTube and then you will insert here the link. Now, so if you go to YouTube, you do not use the full URL that's on the top of the page. You go and you click on this. This is also in Greek, but it should say something like send or something like that in your language. So you click on this. And then a tiny URL appears, a small URL, a, small, a smaller URL appears. So you copy that and you go and paste it here. So immediately it starts showing the YouTube video. So you have three different lines that you can use. So in this example, we have one, two, three lines. You can write there whatever you want. And you can also upload two photos. Upload a photo is what will appear on the top left of your screen. This is the photo and this is the logo on the top right of the screen. When you upload a photo, you browse it in your desktop, you found it and you upload it. Sometimes it will not start working immediately. Sometimes it will take a few minutes. So if you can't see it, don't worry about it. Give it a few minutes. After, the, after it asks you to insert, to insert a newsletter forwarding link, this is very important. This, is, this actually asks you when somebody fills in his details. What am I going to do with him? Usually, most of the times, when somebody, after seeing a two-minute video, when somebody inserts his details, then he's taking, to a, then he's guided to a sales page in which he will be asked to pay. This is the general idea. If you see where this is where I'm taking him. Okay. He's taking to a bigger video in which we explain what we have. This is actually for a diet product. So the video explains, then he clicks on this link which says continue. He's taking to a sales page. That's the general idea. If you leave this blank, which I don't recommend for you to leave it blank, but if you leave it blank, you will actually get the contact and when the person inserts his details, uh, a screen will appear, thank you for joining my newsletter, something like that. The last thing that you can do is insert some text under the video, add a Facebook button or a Twitter button, and you can also insert different links. In my short experience, the best thing in my experience is to leave this blank, I never have anything underneath because I think or I have seen that the less distractions people have the more likely they are to insert our details. The main goal of the lead capture page is to get an email 
to build our list. So if I have a Facebook button here, maybe they go to Facebook, maybe they friend me on Facebook, and while they're at Facebook, maybe somebody, a friend of them may can ask them something, and maybe they forget the whole thing. So I think that the less distractions, the better, the simpler, the better. You just want two-minute video, insert the details, and go to your sales page. So actually, this is it. Then you click Submit, and you are good to go. One other thing is that when somebody inserts his details, he's also connected to your autoresponders. They will start getting emails from you. In the next video, we will explain how you can make your autoresponders operational. Goodbye. See you at the next video.